Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to talk to you about updating the collection in Power Apps, and we will use a concept called patch, uh, which is a very useful function in Power Apps. It applies to collection. It also applies to saving data in some data source. But here we'll see how to use patch to update a collection. We talked about collection in the series and collection. So, and we'll show this uh, with a very simple example app with two screens. So, let's jump right in. Here is a setup that I have done for you. Just to explain, this app has two screens. So, we'll also use some concept like navigation between, across the screen. Uh, I have a video in our channel for showing how to do the navigation. So, we'll use that concept. Uh, let me tell you another concept that we are I'm going to use here it is called app so in the app on start I'm creating a collection and populating this information and I talked about how to create a collection what does clear collect mean in the earlier videos in this series but at high level in the app apps on start event new collection existing data gets cleared and these three records get added this gallery is connected to employees collection that I created. I already tried running app on start, so this data is already there. Now on this button click, you see on select, it says navigate screen to. So that means when the user clicks on this button, that user is taken to screen two. And in the screen two, so all this does is navigates there, but this is the gallery. In screen two, it has two fields, very simple. The first field just shows the employee ID. So in this case, we are assuming that the user should not be able to change the employee ID. So all it does, it says employee ID, some kind of concatenation of the string, and it says gallery one, the name of the gallery dot selected dot ID, and that's it. But here, and then this is a simple display text saying name, and here, it shows an editable text box it's called text input and here it's showing the value that is there in the gallery for selected items so gallery one dot selected dot name and i have two buttons here very simple button this cancel means it doesn't do anything except going back so if you came back came from screen one you'll go back to screen one now second button right now doesn't do anything but this is where we are going to make update in the collection so before doing the update, let me show you how it, how it works. You have this app, you have these records. I go there, I say cancel, nothing happens. Come back here, click on save, nothing happens. Click on cancel, I come back. So essentially it's a setup, but it doesn't do, it doesn't save any data. Now, so I'll implement a very simple function here to save the data. So what I want to do is once the user types something and if the user clicks save, whatever was the typed information for the name, that name gets saved as the name of that record. So all I have to do is use this function called patch and you'll get the hint from Power Apps on how to use it. So it says source, which is collection in this case and name of the collection in our case is called employees. So I'll select that. Uh, for those who already know about data sources like SharePoint or Common Data Service or SQL, this patch is very useful for saving information to those data sources as well. So, okay, employees. And then this is which record you want to update. Patch means update. So which record that has to be patched, the record that has to be patched, which record do you want to update? So think about it, which record do you want to update? We want to update the record that was selected in the gallery of the screen. Now Power Apps allows you to refer to the gallery of one screen into another screen. So name of this gallery is gallery one. I should have ideally renamed it to follow better convention, but for this example, you just keep uh, keep calling it gallery one. So here, going back to here, on the click of this button, on select of this button, I will say gallery one dot selected. 
So you got the record that you want to update. Now third parameter here is what update do you want to make? So the update that I want to make here is here you just have to tell which fields you want to update and what name we should give. So name that we should give is the name that was typed in this text input control. So what is the name of this text input control? Let's go back and see here it's text input one. Ideally I should have followed a better convention but for this example just leave it like that and say text input one dot text. And that's all I need to do to patch it. But one thing which will be nice to do from user experience perspective is after this just say back. So that means we patch this information that means we make the updates and we go back there. By the way this patch is useful not only for updating a record it's also useful for creating a new record. Uh, I'm not going to cover that in this particular tutorial uh, but just be aware that patch is very useful for even creating new record. If you're interested in me talking about that uh, I'll let me know in the comment I'll create some video. So let's see how this works. So let's go back to this. Uh, when I click John Kerry cancel stays this but this time when I come back here and let's say I change it to this name and save and you notice here that this record got saved as John Mason and I can also go back and check the collections and I'll see that the value is updated here. So it's as simple as that. Let's try with one more record. Let's say this guy Rohan and I'm just going to change his first name to Rahul and this is updated. So it's as simple as that. Hope you like this video and you found it useful. Stay in touch and if you want me to create some other video on some topic on Power Apps or Flow or anything else on Power Platform or Azure or Data Science, let me know. Thank you.